I understand. This is a niche game. Hello guys, today we're going to review a new game that's called Meme Mayhem. What I don't understand is people are complaining about RNG and a roguelike deck builder. Do people not understand what those two genres are built on? Even the darling of the hybrid genre are RNG, Dependent, Granted Last, Zem, MM, but the heroes the runs are so short, if you get a bad one, it's not like you married to it. Normally, I don't review many games, but seeing all the negative reception to a game, I'm really enjoying when we feel the need to add a little in other direction. Check out the review in your language only. After we wrote, Star and the release day, the devs kept improving the game by launching small daily patches that made a huge difference with the game balance. At least, I will safely say that I can win about 1 every 7 runs. With more confidence on the cars and items since the very low experience, a few buttons to all characters has improved the game experience by a lot. A perfect combination for me is watching a movie and using Steam Deck to play the game while watching a movie. This game needs very low attention and it's enjoyable to do both at the same time. And keeping doing something clever for in between two slow parties is awesome. I feel like it's doing to get even better as time goes on. More fine tuning and workshop item getting added. Seems like just a funny game at first, glitches turn out to be an incredibly well made rock like with an addiction gameplay loop and tons of great mechanics. It isn't easy to learn and it is even sought to master, so it can provide a worthy challenge for even the most experienced players. Despite and difficulty the gameplay allows for quickly picking a game up or playing short long marathons. The humor is in point and adds entertainment value. The developer are clearly passionate about the game and are taking community feedback actually. While the game currently has some problems like glitches, balancing and flexibility, and they have stated they are dedicated to working on all of this and imagine we'll see big improvement in each ad category it is the kind of the game you can lose yourself in 4 hours and is easily worth picking up. My game's biggest gripe is a summer boss. The tooltip reads that the ult needs to be challenged, but for some reason stars do not interpret it. And even when you have ult can be dodged, you aren't able to dodge the smoke. I also believe that bubble armor doesn't work against it and I don't recall how it interacts with storms. It doesn't behave like a channel nor does it behave like an ult, nor does it behave like repetitive normal attacks so outside of brain drain it feels really hard to interact with even when you're looking ahead and trying to prep for the boss. And generally, the early game experience with the pop cat and Hideo is to look it in both paths punish it you severely for not picking up brains, which leads to a lot of rules dying just from not seeing them. Even when you clue to the fact that this boss damaged some build around. I am not sure why it turns are pursued by every attack type. For example, the chair feels unreasonably hard for the sensei character at times because most of his attack to do no damage, so you just delete yourself before you get a chance to close combat. I feel like damageless attacks should be safe from turns. Where list can sometimes get really unlucky with sprint timing and die out of the blind in the might to get them. I also don't like how adding to your print range comes and the server determinate to your immediate power while also being forced to a new at very shop. It feels really bad to see a card you want immediately and be forced to put it into a print. I feel like prints should be harder to pros but still give you the initial power. And or you should be able to opt in the end of itself thing for prints more readability. Perhaps cards that go into prints should be their own perk type 
It also feels awkward that print cards have two empty slots, but you only get one bonus slot to start the game. It feels like you're constantly losing out on half the power. There are also a bug where if you have a stone print, pick a tomato print to expand it, the counter for tomato print starts showing up despite you not having any tomato prints. Thank you for watching guys and hope you see you later more friends. Goodbye.